I used to think this town was boring. Sunset Overdrive was a brainchild of Marcus Smith and Drew Murray. Marcus was the former creative director on Resistance 3 and Drew was the lead designer. And together they had this vision for a very different type of open world shooter. We were kind of tired of being in that monochromatic rubble uh, end time scenario. So that's where we really started thinking about, you know, what, what would it be like if Iggy Pop was in the end times, which would be spectacular, but ultimately, for the three days he survived. Yeah. <laughs> ultimately, yeah, kind of vain. So. Our first, our first rule in the game though was was no rubble. <laughs> That's right, Drew's first, <laughs> Drew's first mandate to the artist, no, no rubble. rubble. Essentially what we're doing is we're taking the idea of, you know, your post-apocalyptic genre and we're turning it on its head. This is about the character who's finally finding what is right for him in the world. It's a dream come true. One of the, the mantras that we have and that we talked about early on is that you can easily get very jokey with a lot of it. But our, our goal was, as a satire, we said, let's make comments, not jokes. Okay, this is going to be fun. For us, it's all about creativity. It's about, it's about taking something that players know about and putting a spin on it. And that can be something simple, like it can be art, it can be animation, or it can be something complicated, like a, a whole new mechanic that kind of enhances a weapon that, you've, that you think you've used before. Uh, you know, we have a freeze bomb that basically goes and just instantly crystallizes guys, and so they take a ton of extra damage, or we have a gun called the one-handed dragon that basically shoots out a firework that has a big fiery explosion and can set a bunch of dudes on fire and they run around and panic. One of the cooler aspects of the game for me is our cooperative mode. And in this cooperative mode, you're playing with seven other friends taking on a pretty large variety of objectives in the game. So we're using these photo booths to give you this seamless uh, entry and exit out of, out of the cooperative mode. You just step into a photo booth and a couple seconds later you drop into a, co a cooperative game. And what's cool for me as a player is that every time we encounter a new objective in these big missions that occur uh, in the city, we get to vote. We get to decide which mission should we take. Everything from helping some of the factions in the game, to fighting many bosses, to doing scavenger hunt type activities. And there actually are consequences for each choice. We give players a chance to choose, a miss, choose an objective that will increase their chaos amount uh, or will give their team special bonuses. If you choose the objectives that increase your chaos amount, you're going to get better rewards at the end of the co-op mission, but it's going to be harder and harder for you to actually achieve the best reward possible. If you choose the other direction, which gives your team special bonuses and power-ups, it makes the, the combat easier, but your rewards aren't quite as great. And it all culminates in these giant night defense matches. Uh, you actually have a base and you set up traps and uh, defend as the hordes of Odeed come in and, and try to attack you at night. Working together to try to keep your bats of overcharge, delirium safe. We really make our games for our fans. Like you sit there and you make the game and you play it every day. And the biggest thing that we want is for people to enjoy what we make. I heard someone say that uh, this is a game that Sonic's been waiting to make for 20 years, and it, I think it really is. I think everything coming together, what we're good at and what we're known for, and it's really coming together in Sunset Overdrive. It kind of boggles my mind to think where we were like a, a year or two ago and where we are now is, is crazy. I think what stands out to me most and what I'm most proud of is how little the concept has actually changed from its genesis.